Welcome, I'm Jive. In this video for Star Citizen Racing, I will cover some of the important timings on Old Vandival. This means that you will get to see my line, both my experimental optimal line, as well as what I did to get first place on the leaderboards. I will show you when, how and where to turn, as well as the importance of how much you turn. There are a lot of parameters when racing, and you need to be aware of them all if you want fast lap times. Simply copying me here probably won't serve you as well as um, what you can learn from me going into details of the specific turns. So let's begin. Here's the times I've been able to produce on the leaderboards. You can try to compare them with the um, times I've been able to produce here on the drone sim, which I'll show you in just a second with a four split screen to show you also the consistency at which I fly. As we see here, first things first, first take G-Safe off, I make a, a slight turn here in the beginning, very soft, here I disengage my afterburner and activate normal boost, gives a better turn with high speed. Here I usually activate it again, afterburner that is. It gives good control as you're in a turn. I have to watch out for this white block right here. Um, you'll hit it fairly often with your hex spoiler. Um, go in a straight line here because you're very close to blacking out. Like stated, take a soft curve, really soft. Um, you'll either hit the building there if you don't turn enough or you'll turn too much and you'll black out. So right here you want to aim just above the uh, port there so you can make a really good turn here. I like to turn soft and then really hard here. Um, what I did there, it will not happen <laughs> successfully very often, usually I just crash. Here, after burner is still on, um, you just took your drift. You make sure you hit either the left or the right side here. Do not go through the middle of those antennas there will not happen. I luckily was able to roll out of my way there, so that was good. Uh, disengage afterburn here, do normal boost, um, do a counter turn relatively fast so you don't black out. I'm just showing here a few times. You keep almost all your boost when you, uh, or sorry, all your speed when you do it that way. You go 370 all the way through, so you want to keep doing that. Uh, you could also at any time pause of course the video and, and read the, the little pieces of text there, they're more descriptive. Right, so while I'll talk about some of the technicalities, I'll put on some uh, my my leaderboard record. Uh, I actually got the record um, back from a guy called M space dot. Um, then I took just another one just to see if I could get uh, a total time below two minutes, which succeeded so I'll just put the entire clip here. A big problem for me in trying to convey all this information is that there is a lot of information. Um, right, so something I haven't covered at all is how I've been rolling. Um, you yaw a lot faster than you pitch so when you go side to side that's faster but you see there are cases where I do a little bit of uh, a sort of diagonal turn and it happens especially from the gate 6 to 7. Um, just as you activate boost there, um, you can go back and watch, um, you will see that I don't lose much speed whereas if I did a pure yaw 
I would lose a lot more speed. For some reason, you keep a lot more of the speed when you do this sort of mix. However, there is a downside to it, and that is you will drift more when you do this. This drift is the key to it. Um, so you can't turn as well, but that means you can just do a little bit of a harder turn. Now, if you do too hard a turn, your ship will almost stop completely, so you got to be aware of that. So now that the uh, video should be on the screen, um, you can sort of see that when we get to turn, let me see, one, two, three, four, yeah, turn four, I do something completely different. I try to dodge the way I did it uh, in the previous super fast laps completely because it's just too unstable. I hit, it, it goes wrong too often. I have once done three laps in a row in, in drone sim, but I, it's too big a, of a risk. So this way of doing it, um, and you could totally cover this, it's just something I did ad hoc. It's not something I had trained or anything. I just did it this way because it was more safe and I have an okay success rate with the rest of the track, so that is why. Alright, that's all I had. I hope you liked the content. Um, like and subscribe for more, I guess. See ya. Oh, and comment if you want anything specific changed.